Hey everybody, today I'm going to make a one pot wonder, a keto one pot wonder, and I'm going to be incorporating kettle and fire, a keto bone broth, spicy cauliflower. I have never used this kind and I'm super excited to use it today. Um, I have got my, my frying pan on, olive oil going, and I have a pound of ground beef. You can totally use ground turkey, ground chicken, ground pork if you wanted. You could do it vegetarian if you wanted. I have a small bag of rice cauliflower. I'm just, I just throw it in the microwave for like five minutes. And then I'll incorporate that in a little while. Oops. There we go. This is already nice and hot. Wash my hands. So you can season this up any way you like. And you can change up. You can change the cheeses, you can change the seasonings. This is just a template. Do whatever you want, but I'm showing, showing you what I like to do, okay? Very easy stuff. So I've got some pink Himalayan sea salt. Some good seasoning on there, some black pepper. Don't be shy with the seasoning. And then some garlic powder. Sometimes I'll just like double this recipe or triple it and then it's so easy to divide into meals for the week. My husband loves to take this to work. I'll eat it for lunch, I'll eat it for dinner. It's delicious. And I've made very similar, I just have never um, used the kettle on fire, which I'm doing today. Take a look at this. So we have, it's made with organic coconut milk, cauliflower puree, cauliflower, chicken bone broth, carrots, organic fennel, leeks, apple cider vinegar, thyme, shiitake mushrooms, tamarind, bay leaves, tomato powers, anthem gum, sea salt, garlic powder, turmeric, um, all so good things, mustard seed, bell pepper, paprika, does contain tree nuts, coconut. That sounds phenomenal. I'm really excited about that. Spicy cauliflower. Phenomenal. Did I put the scissors away? Be right back. Smells like cauliflower. All right. So that, that will add some really good flavor. And actually, this 
This is a um, combination of venison and beef, this particular blend. And it's delicious, has a lot of really good flavor. It tends to be a little bit on the fattier side, so I will probably drain it out pretty well. But it's really, really good. Great flavor. Cauliflower is good. That will just sit for a minute. So very simple. I mean, we're going to add a little cream cheese, a little heavy cream, and the soup, and it's going to be phenomenal. This is great for any day of the week, but it's super quick. After school, after work. Honestly, you could do this with leftover. You can buy rotisserie chicken and just warm it up. And then you could do the same exact recipe with that. Beautiful. Really good. You do not have to be keto to enjoy this meal, but it sure is great if you are. I mean, if you're doing this, you're gonna be happy you are. Some little chunks that we don't need. I'm going to check the seasoning. Good on garlic. It's pretty good, actually. Pretty good on salt. It's going to be, we're going to add more with the cheese, so I'm going to keep it the way it is, actually. It's pretty good. Another couple minutes. We're almost fully cooked here. And depending on how much of, a, of the bone broth you use, you could do it thinner, you could make it more like a soup, you could make it more like a stew. It's really up to you. I like mine to eat more like a meal though than a soup. these little white bits. Looks great. All right, I'm gonna just strain the extra fat out of here. Be right back, I promise. I'm not going anywhere. There we go. All right. So now we're going to use. Some of the soup. It's probably about half of it. I'd say that's like eight ounces, maybe a cup. My spoon. We'll see. We may end up using the whole thing. 
and we'll pop in the cauliflower. And then I always end up seasoning that with a little more pepper or something on the top. And a little bit more salt on that part. A little more pepper. Now we go with a little heavy cream. Usually once or twice around the pan. And depending on how many people you're feeding, you could have actually used two of the bags and probably a little bit bigger of a pan of the rice cauliflower. Make it last a little bit longer. Go a little further. All right, now we're gonna add, it's probably half the container, so there's probably about a half a cup in here. We're gonna go probably a few tablespoons of cream cheese. creamy effect and I do two slices of cheese any two kinds that you like I happen to have pepper jack here and cheddar cheese I've done provolone I've done Asiago whatever tickles your fancy my friends do Munster do Swiss Whatever you have on hand. If you have two cheddar, do two cheddar. It doesn't really matter. One of each is what I have. And that's what I'm using. So basically you're just melting it down. People think you need flour to thicken a cheese sauce. That's not true. You don't. The heavy cream will do a really good job for you. And the cream cheese. Those two things combined makes a delicious cheese sauce. Look, I don't know if you can see this, but this is looking phenomenal, okay? I will try it for you in a minute, and I will let you know how it tastes. I started keto on January 3rd, 2019, and I am down 52 pounds, 53 pounds, something like that, holding steady, loving the lifestyle. good stuff and I have been able to make just about everything found an alternative way for everything I enjoy delicious all right I need to try this out see what I'm missing if I need to add more of the soup if I need to add more heavy cream Ooh, I get the kick right away from that spicy soup. I want more of the spicy soup. That's awesome. That's awesome. I like the spicy soup. That is my favorite. I've made this about 50 times. The spicy soup is my favorite part. I think that's fabulous. 
Why did I wait so long to use it? I forgot it was in my pantry. Yum. All right. If I worked in a restaurant, I would not use the same spoon, but it is my house, it's my family. And truth be told, I usually put hot sauce in that. That's fabulous. Ah! My husband is gonna be so excited. That tastes delicious. Well guys, I hope you try this. This is one pot of pure keto joy. I hope you give it a try. I will write the recipe out so you have that as well. So have a super fabulous day. Take care.